Okay guys, I just went to the gym. There's my gym. Um, but I forgot to pay for parking. I've been here for like an hour. I was going to, I totally was. It's only like $1, but I forgot. So I'm really hoping I don't get a ticket. Literally, fuck me. It's only $30 and that I can pay. Oh, I'm so stupid. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's winter break? Mine sucked. No, I'm kidding. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I went on vacation, which was a lot of fun. And now I'm back in Boston and oh my God, I'm so bored. And I know it's better to be bored than to be like stressed out at school. I guess, but it's like, everyone's worried about COVID again. Mrs. Omegatron did not come to play. She really did not. What was I saying? Basically, I came back from vacation. I've been just like watching TV all day long and you know what, there's nothing wrong with that. But back in November, I really had this idea that I was gonna throw like a New Year's party and like everyone was gonna come and dress up and we would like have a blast and then like watch the countdown. No, none of that happened, obviously. So how did my New Year's Eve go? Let me tell you. So we started New Year's Eve off by learning that my cousin has COVID, my cousin that I went on vacation with two days before. By the time he found out and called us and we found out, it was already like 2 p.m. So at that point, we're trying to like drive around to find a COVID testing center. So we couldn't find one. What we settled for were some rapid tests that we bought from CVS. They were so expensive so expensive turns out we're negative which was great so that's how my new year's eve went so then at night we were actually supposed to go celebrate new year's eve with said cousin's family then we were like well we don't want to spend years alone we basically did the countdown and then like got the hell out of there was it the best new year's eve i've ever had no but you know i was actually pretty relieved thinking that you know this is just a thing that we're all going through together i found solace in the fact that i was not alone i thought everyone was going through the same thing because i thought we had agreed on the fact that we were not gonna go out on New Year's Eve. Like, I thought that was an agreed upon fact. No, it was not. People be going out left and right. I was on TikTok and they're like, this is what I'm wearing for New Year's Eve. And I'm like, you know what I wore on New Year's Eve? Probably something similar to this, okay? And then I was like talking to this random dude at the gym who was telling me he was gonna go to a rave on New Year's Eve. And I was like, a rave? Like, what world are you living in? And he was like, well, I got COVID like last week. So I'm like chilling. So everyone who got COVID before got to go out and have a hangy dory time. Whereas I got to sit in the comfort of my cousin's home watching Pete Davidson and Miley Cyrus doing a sketch comedy skit that was not funny. And then we popped some lukewarm champagne and drank it. What a sad New Year's. But anyway, New Year's is behind us, 2022 is upon us, and I just wanted to say that I will be damned if I cannot celebrate my 21st birthday at a bar. My 21st birthday is April 4th, and if I cannot go out at that time, I'm gonna rage quit life, you know what I'm saying? Like, this has been going on for far too long. Anyway, I was gonna walk to Newberry Street to buy some stuff for my apartment. I'm feeling so lazy right now that I don't wanna do that. I might just do it another day. I think I'm just gonna go home. right before I went to Mexico. So it was like nice and silvery and ashy, but then after spending like years in the sun, um, basically all that ash was drawn out. So now it's kind of back to being like a little brassy or at least brassier than I would like. So I went on to Amazon and I purchased a little something something. This is a purple hair mask that I've been using. I have no idea if it's good or not. The reviews were good. It was $10 literally. I didn't want to buy the more expensive one. Okay, so here's the before. I don't know what it looks like. All right, and then I'm gonna use this. I've already used it once. I'm gonna use it one more time and we'll see how she looks. So I'm having an issue. I think it did work. 
on the front. But if you compare the front pieces to the back pieces, the front pieces are way more ashy. I don't know, I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, me and my sister are gonna go thrifting because we're bored and she has the day off from work. So let's go. I know, seriously though. Look at that contrast. My hairdresser is gonna be like, what the fuck did you do to your hair? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, so I didn't wanna pay for another toning session, so I did a little DIY. Oh no. The front looks good though, so if we just ignore the back, it's fine. Get that camera out of my face. No pops, please. Bye. See ya. Okay, so we're going to Urban Renewals in Roslindale. I've never been there, but they used to have one in Alston, and I also never went there. But it looked really nice, so I think this one is gonna be good. So, um, we got like a combined five button ups or something like that. How would you rate this thrift store? Um, five out of ten. Five out of ten. <laughs> awesome. All right, so Claire is getting us Popeyes. While she's doing that, I thought I would do a little haul. I basically just got like a bunch of like shirts to like wear over other shirts because like it's like button up heaven in there. So, um, I already have a white button up, but I got this other. I don't know what this is, like a brownish, grayish thing. I got this beige one as well. Then I was looking for a leather shirt or fake leather shirt. This is not exactly fake leather, but it kind of looks like it, like it'll work. It does have these weird like tie thingies, but I'm pretty sure I can just like cut it off, honestly. Um, So yeah, that's my haul. Literally just like different types of button ups. So now we're gonna go get Popeyes and then we're gonna go home. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> 